of what we did on Monday, we were doing um, the different types of triangles. And this triangle over here with this square over here, the square tells us that this angle here by this corner is actually 90 degrees. And that makes this a right, um, a right angled triangle. Okay. And then we said that if one of these angles over here, one of the angles in our triangle is an obtuse triangle, then we, or, or not an obtuse triangle, if it's an obtuse angle, the other two will be acute. And then we call that an obtuse triangle. Let me just highlight what I'm trying to show here. We call that an obtuse triangle there. And if all three of my angles are acute, we call this an acute triangle. I just want to add something that I realized I didn't add last time. Um, in this first triangle over here, if I've got a 90 degree angle over there, this over here is also going to be acute. And this angle here is also going to be acute. Okay. Because if there's 90 left, if there's 90 degrees left, then the other two angles are definitely going to be less than 90. All right, so we're going to do a quick recap of what we did. These are the four questions I would like you guys to attempt. When you are done, can I please ask you guys to put the cool guy emoji in the chat? Do not put the answers. You need to write down the answers for all four of them. You can number them five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't really matter. Or one, two, three, four. And once you're done answering all of them on a piece of paper, you can put the cool guy emoji in the chat. Remember guys, just one emoji. Hello, Ayanda, I see your hand is already up and your cool guy emoji has already been put down. I'm assuming it's because you want to answer one of the questions. Brayden is giving us an alien emoji. I don't know how that's the cool guy emoji, but okay. Maybe aliens are cool. I don't know. And Kiedre, thank you. And Masichaba, I see you. And Jiria, guys, thank you so much for following instructions. Ooh, Misela gives us a winky face. Thank you, Aziza and Zukiswa and Bali. And Letitia's, I don't think Letitia's figured out her um, emojis yet because she's still writing cool guy and so is Mojalefa. Mojalefa's writing cool guy emoji, asterisk. Excellent, I'm loving all of these. That shows that we're understanding because we're able to identify them so quickly. Okay. All right, can I start? Let's start with Ayanda. Ayanda, can you unmute and let me know what number five is? Ma'am, number five is an obtuse angle, ma'am. Good. How do we know that it's a, not an obtuse angle? An obtuse what? Obtuse triangle, ma'am. Good. It's an obtuse triangle. Good. Which one of these is the obtuse one? The angle. The Beg your pardon, ma'am? Which of these angles is the obtuse angle? Yeah, at the top, ma'am. This one right here. This is my obtuse angle. Well done. I had no doubts, Ayanda. I know you know this stuff. Very well done. High five. Okay. <laughs> Very cool stuff. All right, Homozo. <laughs> um, Homozo, can I ask you to answer number six for me? Can you tell me? Homozo, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, can you tell me what number six is? Um, and number six is an acute triangle. Good, it's an acute. Why do we call it an acute triangle? Ma'am, because it has a 90 degrees, ma'am. Oh, where's the 90 degrees here? On top, ma'am. There's a 90 oh, degrees, ma'am. If it was a 90 degrees, it would have like a little square like that. Is there a square anywhere here? Uh, no, ma'am. No. If it were, if it did have a 90 degree angle, we would call it a right angle, but you are correct. It is an acute, but the reason why we call it acute is because all three of my angles are acute angles. You see that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Lovely effort. Excellent stuff. All right. Master Chaba, are you ready? Number seven for me, please, my sweetie. Okay, ma'am. Number seven, it's an acute, it's a right angled triangle. 
Ooh, okay. So first you said acute and then you said right angle. What made you change your mind? <laughs> um, because it is a square that tells us that it's 90 degrees. Excellent. Because of the square over here, we know that this is 90 degrees and that's a right angle, therefore a right angle triangle. Very well done. Good on you for catching yourself before you before you made a mistake. Well done. Thank you, Mir. <laughs> All right. Mujalifa, can you do you want to do number eight with us? And I see Mufluri asking, ma'am, can I please be next? There are a lot more questions coming later. So just keep that hand raised. Mujalifa, are you there? Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Hi. Hi. All right. So what my last one, what is my last one? Number eight. What kind of triangle um, is this? An acute angle triangle. Okay. Tell me why you say acute. No, because the angles look like they are um, smaller than 90 degrees. Which, which ones look smaller than 90 degrees? Man, the one at the bottom right corner and this the one. top one. Yes, man, that one. Mm, but if I thought if I think about it, like if I had to draw it like that, that looks more like a 90 degree angle. Is that is that bigger than 90 degree angle? Mm, it does. My goodness. It is bigger than 90 degrees. So rather than acute, what would it be? Obtuse. It would be obtuse. So what's my answer? An obtuse angle triangle. Good. It's an obtuse triangle. All right. We just need to look at the biggest angle or have a look at all the angles and see which ones um, match that one. Okay. Yes, Mukhuri, this is a recap. We did this on Monday. Guys, remember, if you don't recognize what's happening here, you might need to rewatch Monday's video because that's when we started with all of this. Okay. So if you understand these two different types of triangles, then we are not going to get um, lost because this is exactly what the first thing that we did. Well, we did shapes and then we did triangles um, in this particular um, question. All right, so now we know what an, a right angle triangle, an obtuse triangle, and what an acute triangle is. But what we're going to do today is we're going to learn about different types of triangles. And yes, they're, they're acute and obtuse and right angled, but they have different properties as well. I 100% need you guys to write this down. I need everybody to take out a piece of paper and I need you to draw exactly what's on my screen at the moment. Okay. And I need you to draw them exactly the way we see them here. We're going to be starting with an equilateral triangle. We're going to be talking about an equilateral triangle. So what I need you guys to do is draw this draw this and I'm going to give everybody one minute, just one minute to draw what I've circled on the screen. Go for it. And those of you with your hands up, can I ask you to put your hands down? Um, okay, Rafila is saying you don't understand. Rafila, where did we lose you? Can you unmute? Okay, uh, you're not unmuting. Can I ask you to pop your question in the chat? Yes, Rafila, I know, I know you don't understand. I just need you to draw it for now. I'm just about to explain. Okay, Misela says, ma'am, please repeat what you said. I said, draw this. This is what I said. I said, draw this. Draw uh, this. That was my, my instruction. Okay. And I'll watch this. Okay, my, my one minute is up, so I'm going to start. Um, Sam, no, we're going to be looking at exactly what an equilateral, equilateral triangle is. And underneath this particular triangle that you've drawn, we're going to write a couple of things, okay? Mukhuri, you can draw all of them, but there are things underneath them that I'm going to be explaining that I need you to write, okay? This first triangle that we're looking at over here, is called an equilateral triangle. And equilateral, or the word equi over here, that first part of the word comes from the word equal. Okay, that comes from the word equal. 
Now, who can remember, because we did this a while back, if I have this and that and that, what does that tell me about each of these sides? Does anybody know? Master Chaba, what does, it, what does it mean? What do those lines mean? The lines mean that the three uh, sides are equal to each other. Good, good. That all the three sides are equal to each other. Now, I want you guys to tell me in the chat, if this side over here is four centimeters, what is this side over here going to be equal to? Let me know in the chat. Good, Mujalifa's on the ball. Good, and Nelisa and Jiria, you guys are getting it. Because all the sides are equal, if this side is four centimeters, this side is also going to be four centimeters. So when we look at an equilateral triangle, the one thing that we know is that all sides are equal. We know that all sides are equal. Okay, and another thing we know about an equilateral triangle Mm, let me pick another color. All right, blue. One th another thing we're going to know about an equilateral triangle is that this angle over here, this top angle, and these two base angles, they're all going to be equal. Okay. So we're going to say all angles are equal. All angles are equal. But who can tell me how many degrees? Do the, does the inside of a triangle add up to? Does anybody know? Roland, how much do the degrees of a triangle equal to? On the 90 degrees, miss. Oh, not 90 degrees. You're almost there. Check in the chat. Somebody's helping you out there. 180, miss. Good. It's 180 degrees, right. Now, tell me, Roland, if these three angles are going to be equal to each other, I have to split them evenly through by 180 degrees. So something plus something plus something is equal to 180 degrees. All of these need to be the same number. What number is that going to be? It's almost like dividing 180 by three. Do you know what that's gonna be? You can try some quick mental maths. Yes, miss. Or if you're stuck, you can check in the chat. Miss, I did my mental math. It is it equal to 60? Good. It's 60 degrees. Good. So I'm going to get 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees. And all of them put together are going to give me 180 degrees. Do you see that? Yes, miss. So if I ask you, Roland, what is the inside angle of an equilateral triangle? What are you going to tell me? What's the, what's the inside angle equal to? 180 minus. Okay. When they add it up, they're going to give me 180. But what is one of them going to be equal to? 60 minus. Good. They're going to be equal to 60 degrees. Excellent stuff. Very well done, Roland. Very, very well done. Okay. Now, what Roland is actually saying is that all the angles together need to be equal to 180 degrees. So each of the angles is going to be 60 degrees. And I'm going to repeat this. The angles of an equilateral triangle on the sides are always 60 degrees. Now, I'm going to ask you guys again in the chat. How much is the angles of an equilateral triangle? Not how much are they equal to, how much is each angle in the, in an equilateral triangle? How much is it equal to? Thank you, Luto and Juria. And Vezu, we don't just take 60, 60 what? You need to remind us. And Katz as well, you guys need to tell us 60 what? Thank you, Sam and Mukona and Refilwe. Excellent. It's always always 60 degrees. All right. Now I need, after all the 60 degrees, I need a thumbs up. Do we understand what's happening here or thumbs down? I'm kind of a little bit lost. Thank you, Jiria and Tando and Zukiswa and Nelisa and Masichama. Whew, I'm loving how many thumbs up I'm always getting over here. Okay. Now I need you guys, everything that I've written down here, 
This is all very important. You, you guys need to remember this, okay? It's extremely important that you remember the properties of an equilateral triangle because it comes up again. And if you're stuck, I need you to please DM teacher Kat so she can try and explain to you. But if you're still kind of like, ma'am, mm, I'm not quite sure, then I need you guys to rewatch this video again when, we, when we're done with the class. Yes, Mukona, you need to copy down everything that I'm writing, okay? Then we're going to move on to the next one. So now I need everybody to draw this one. Everybody go ahead and draw this. You've got one minute, go. Excellent. Sam says he's done. And Ayanda's done as well. I'm loving all the dones in the chat. That means I can continue. I'm going to wait for a, more, a few more people to write done in the chat. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. I'm loving the amount of dones in the chat. All right. So we're going to be speaking about an ice. It's pronounced isosceles triangle and if you're having a bit of trouble pronouncing it it's fine when I was in school I used to pronounce it isosceles so that I can remember how to um, how to pronounce or how to spell it because it's actually it's pronounced isosceles but it's spelled isosceles so that's how I used to say it I used to say isosceles now what we're going to notice about an isosceles triangle is that the base angles, so this angle here at the bottom and this angle here at the bottom are equal. So this one and this one are equal. I need you guys to draw this or write this down on your drawing. Write it down on your drawing so you can remember that they are equal. Okay. All right. And also remember what we said, if we have these two lines here like this, this tells me that these two sides are equal. Okay, the length of the sides are equal. But let me ask you guys in the chat quickly, just write to me yes or no in the chat. Is this side over here, is this side equal to these two other sides over here? Is it equal? Mujalifa says no. I believe you, Mujalifa. Yeah, I'm with you there. And Nati too. Okay, Chloe, can you tell me why that side is not equal? to the other two sides. <clears throat> Ma'am, why I say those two sides are not equal to the last side is because the last, the side at the bottom is shorter than the two sides. Okay, good. But if I wasn't drawing it to scale, what do I need to draw on that line to show that it's equal to the other sides? Mm. Have a look here. Remember we said that this line and this line here means that they're equal. What do we see on this last line that's missing? Hmm. Man, Have I'm I lost you a sure. little bit? Are you yes, not sure? That's fine. Can I, can I ask Mujalifa to help us? Yes, ma'am. Okay, excellent. Nice try, very nice try. Mujalifa, what's missing down here? Ma'am, we'd have to draw two, um, two lines going down to show that it's not equal to the other two sides. Good. Good. We'd have to draw another line going down like this to show that these three sides are equal. But if all the three sides were equal, it wouldn't be isosceles anymore. Would it, Mujanifa? What would it be if all the three sides were equal? Ma'am, I said two lines to show that it's not equal. Well, yes, you can draw two lines to show that it's not equal. But I'm asking Mujanifa if I drew one line, what would that mean? Mm -hmm. 
as an equilateral triangle. Good. It would mean that it's equilateral and it's no longer isosceles. Very well done. That's that's a very good observation. I'm going to add that as well. I'm going to draw two lines instead of one to show that it's not equal to the other two. Okay. So remember, guys, the lines show us that they are equal to, whether they're equal to each other or not. Okay. So with this one, with the isosceles triangle, we're going to write here that the base angles, the base angles are equal. The base angles are equal. And we're also going to say that the two, let me write the number two, not just two. Two long sides are equal, okay? Two sides are equal, All right? And that's what we're writing with, um, with an isosceles triangle. Those are the types of things we're going to be noticing in an isosceles triangle. All right, again, thumbs up, thumbs down. How are we doing with these questions? Thank you, Mukhuri, for the heart. I'll take it. And thank you, Tando and Jody and Jaria and Masichaba for your thumbs up and Julie as well. And Tetello, excellent guys. Yes, good. So I hope you guys are understanding that my base angles, these angles here at the bottom, these two, they are equal to each other. And these two sides over here, this side and this side are equal to each other. But this side over here is not equal and this angle over here is not equal, okay? Only the two that we've pointed out, those two are equal, okay? Roland, do you have a question? This was... <clears throat> Okay, go ahead and ask your question. So, I wanted to ask you, Miss, um, is uh, the next um, triangle after the in circles triangle? So, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss, um, is the sides, it has no equal side, right, Miss? Mm -hmm. And what else does it not have that's equal? No equal sides and? No line of symmetry. There's no line of symmetry and there's no equal angles. Okay. Yes, Miss. Correct. Are you seeing that? Because there are no lines and there are no angles on the corners. Okay. Yes, Miss. Can you pronounce what it's called? A scandal. Oh, I know. Matt's, I don't understand why Matt's needs to sound like English now, but it's pronounced scalene. Can you say that word? Scalene triangle. Good, it's a scalene triangle. Very well done. Roland, you're doing my job for me. I was going to get to it. And now, you're, <laughs> now you're, taking, you're taking my job. Okay. All right. So I need you guys to draw a scalene triangle. You'll notice with the scalene triangle that nothing is common. And I'm going to write this like that. Draw this. And underneath, oh, look at what I'm writing. Draw this. And underneath scalene triangle, I'm going to remove all of this. This was isosceles triangle. Underneath scalene triangle, I want you guys to write there, nothing is common. Nothing is common. There's no equal sides, no equal angles. Okay. No equal sides and no equal angles. All right, excellent. I'm loving the duns in the chat. Once you guys are done, uh, let me just fix my comment. My comment looks so bad. See, uh, there we go. Nothing is common. All right. Melissa, how can I help? Um, Ma'am, I don't understand the part where you said that the isosceles angle, the base angles are equal. Okay, so here's, here's what I mean. If I say to you that this angle over here is 40 degrees, if they're equal, what's this angle over here going to be, Melissa? 40 degrees, ma'am. Excellent. It's going to be 40 degrees as well. Okay, that's what we mean. But do you see how the base angles is the angles at the bottom of the triangle? You see it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the two that are sitting 
like opposite each other on the on the base of the triangle. That's what we mean by base angles. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Sure, no problem. Okay, excellent question, by the way. Excellent question. All right. I hope we're all done drawing the scalene triangle. There's nothing to learn about a scalene triangle except nothing is common. Nothing is common at all. There's no equal angles, no equal sides. Okay, this is a pretty easy one. Now, the last one I want us to look at is we've done right angled triangle. We already did the right angled triangle. We just did it in the, in the recap because we did that one on Monday. But what I want us to look at is this last one over here, a right angled isosceles triangle. A right angle isosceles triangle is just like an isosceles triangle. It's just that the last angle over here is 90 degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you guys in the chat. If this angle is 45 degrees, what is this angle over here going to be? Can you guys tell me in the chat? Thank you, Luto and Molevo Heng and Mujalefa and Tavang, remember, don't just say 45. You need to put the degrees. There. Thank you, Tavang. <laughs> okay. Excellent, 45. Somebody said 46 degrees. Uh, I hope I hope it's it's a typo. <laughs> I know, I feel like it's a typo. It's supposed to be 45 degrees. Okay, good. It's 45 degrees. Okay. And that should make sense because if this angle over here, remember guys, we said that if there's a little square over here, if there's a little square over here, this tells me that this is 90 degrees. And we said that the base or the inside angles of a triangle, how much do they add up to? Refilio, can I ask you, how much do the inside angles of a triangle add up to? Do you want to unmute Refilio and ask your question or answer my question rather? They actually DM me 45. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so we're good. All right, so we understand that this angle over here is uh, 90 degrees and the other two will be 45 degrees. So I'm going to get 90 degrees plus something plus something needs to be equal to equal to 180 degrees. But these two somethings over here need to be exactly the same. Tawan, can you tell me what those two somethings are? I've already given you the answers basically. I've given you the answer. Uh, I think. What is the uh, what number am I here and here? I think they need to be the 40. same number. Okay, so if I put 40 in here, let's do some quick mental math. If I put 40 in there, I'm going to have 90 degrees plus 40 plus 40, and that's going to give me 170 degrees. So it's not 40. It's not 40. Let's think well, again. Maybe Oh, I hear 45 now. Yes, let's try 45 degrees. 45 degrees and 45 degrees. Okay, good. Now I've got 90 degrees but plus 45 will give me 135 and 135 plus 45 will give me 180. So these two angles are always going to be 45 degrees. So when we're looking at a right angled isosceles triangle, what we want to write is that the base angles the base angles are always equal to 45 degrees and they have two equal sides. Okay, I'm gonna give everybody one second to write that down and then we're gonna do a quick exercise. Very well done, Tavang. Very well done. I love your reasoning, um, your reasoning skills there. Okay, sometimes it just takes a bit of trial and error for us to get to the right answer. Okay, I'm, I'm literally giving you guys 30 seconds. Thank you, Tori, you're always so quick about it. Always so quick about it. Right. Okay, great. I'm seeing a lot of dans in the chat. I'm going to assume that we can continue. 
Sam, por favor is not French for done. I don't, I don't think it is. But I, I'm, I'm now curious to find out what it is because por favor is actually Portuguese for please, I think, if my language skills are, are not failing me today. Okay, great. Now we're going to try them. We're going to try them out. You guys need to identify these. Okay, now you look at this first one over here. They give us an example. Oh, por favor. Oh, I didn't know. Well done, guys. Ooh, I know nothing about French, so don't take it from me. I don't know. So um, if you are por favor, we're going to start looking at numbers two, three, and four. I actually want us to do number five and six as well. Okay. Now, we'll notice in this first one, the reason why they say it's scalene is because nothing is common. Nothing at all is common here. There's no equal side. There's no equal angle. We just seeing that nothing is common. Therefore, it's scalene. Now, we're going to do the same with numbers two, three, four, five, and six. And I want you guys to put, and I like the emoji that Jiria has used, the, ah, that emoji in the chat. That's the one we're going to put in the chat once we've answered all five of them on a piece of paper. That one, the, ah, molto bello, that one. Um, Mukona, we've already looked at right angle to triangle. If you've missed right angle triangle, um, then you need to either go and watch Monday's episode um, or, or recap the recap of today's episode because we've just done it. We've just, just done it. Mujalifa's like Jeria's emoji. <laughs> I like, I like that. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a bit of time to, to go through this one. And if you would like, you can put your, your hands up um, because we're going to ask people to start answering these questions for me. Thank you, Ayanda and Mujalifa for having your hands up. And Maria, I haven't heard Maria's voice today. I'm so glad to see you. Leticia does the exact same thing, guys. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it one more, one more minute. Yeah, Smita, I was realizing that we can't see five and six all that well. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little. <laughs> well done. Well done, Jiria. Jiria is like my emoji. Hmm. <laughs> Love it. Excellent, guys. All right, ten more seconds, and then we're gonna we're gonna start heading down this road together. I've only got four hands. I was hoping to see about seven hands. So if anybody's feeling brave enough to answer a question, thank you, Sam. You need one more hand. And there's you. Oh, excellent. There we go. All right, we're gonna start with Ayanda. Ayanda, can you tell us number two? What is number two? What kind of triangle is number two? Ma'am, number two is as as colleagues is a triangle, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, yes, I know it's a hard word. It's an isosceles triangle. Good. How do we know that it's an isosceles triangle? <clears throat> what tells us that it's an isosceles triangle? I'll give you a hint. Ma'am, Ma'am, because it has equal sides, ma'am. How many equal sides? Two. Good. It has two equal sides. And what does that tell me about the base angles, Ayanda? What does it tell me about these two base angles that they are? Equal, ma'am. Good. That they're also equal. Excellent stuff. Amazing. Very well done. Okay. Mujalifa, are you ready? Let's do number three.
Jalifa, can you do number three? Tell me, what is number three? Number three is a scalene triangle. Good, it's a scalene triangle. Why do we say scalene? Ma'am, as your words, nothing is common. There's no equal Excellent. angles and sides. Thank you, thank you. Nothing is common. Nothing is common. Excellent, Jalifa. You know, <clears throat> I think I'm going to start having famous words now. I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maria, let's do number four together. What do we know about number four? What is it? Number four is an equilateral triangle. Excellent, my darling. Why do we know that it's an equilateral triangle? Because all of the sides are equal. Mm -hmm. What else is also equal? The angles. Good. And how much is the angle? Can you remember? Um... 60 degrees. Excellent. It's 60 degrees. Well done. Yo, I thought, it, I thought I'd, I'd get you there, but I'm glad you remembered. Well done, Maria. <laughs> All right. Uh, Master Chaba, can we do number five? What is number five, uh, Master Chaba? Ma'am, number five is isosceles. Oh, well done. You said it right the first time. Well done. <laughs> Amazing. Isosceles. Oh, well done. Well done. How do we know that it's an isosceles triangle? Um, because the base angles are equal and the, mm. the, there are two sides that are equal. Excellent. Amazing stuff. Well done. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, just... Oh. I have no idea what that means, but yes. All right, Sam, let's do number six together. Um, um, ma'am, number six is a, a scalene, ma'am. Good, it's a scalene triangle. How do we know that it's a scalene triangle? Because nothing is common. Ah, excellent. Nothing is common. What do we mean by nothing is common? I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> okay, we need to remember, we can't just say nothing is common, we need to remember. Um, which angles, are there any angles that are the same on this drawing, on this triangle? Yes, ma'am, up to you, ma'am. Oh, no, remember, there will be no, there will be no equal angles and no equal sides. See, like if there were equal sides, we'd have to have this, okay? And if they were equal, like if they were equal angles, they would have to look exactly the same. But if we look at this, none of the angles are equal and none of the sides are equal. Do you see that? Yes, ma'am. That's what we mean by nothing is common. Okay. Yes, Excellent. I'm glad that you noticed that it was a scalene triangle, though. Very well done, Sam. Vezu, let's do number seven. Let's do number seven together. And I purposely left this one out so that um, so that nobody could, could guess at it. Vezu, what's number seven? Uh, number seven is a scalene triangle. Good. What do we know? How do we know it's a scalene triangle? Because none of the sides and angles are equal. Excellent. I couldn't have put it better myself. Very well done. Thank very, you. very well done. Excellent. Melissa, can you do the last one for me? It's um, an isosceles. Good, it's an isosceles triangle. How do we know that it's an isosceles triangle? It only has two sides that are equal. Good, can you be more specific? What do we know about this, this square over here? What does it tell us about it? Um, Ma'am, it tells us. What is this angle? How much is this angle? It's a, it's a 90 degrees angle. Good. If this is a 90 degree angle, what is this angle going to be equal to over here? Or both of these? 45 angles? degrees, ma'am. Wow. Excellent. 45 degrees. Ah. Mwah. Just amazing stuff. Very well done, Melissa. Thank you, ma'am. Excellent. All right, everybody. Okay. I'm, I'm glad that everybody's getting good marks. I, I, like, I hope you guys are marking as we go along and that we're doing great. We're going to take a quick brain break because we do need to actually do everything all together. And we are going on a cruise. I do want to change the game again, um, maybe next week, okay? I don't want us to always have to go on a cruise, but I do want us to do something different. Um, everyone with their hand up, 
please lower hands. We're going to be looking at our brain break. Teacher Cat, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right. <clears throat> oh, yes, cruise time, Jody. Excellent. All right. So I'm going on a cruise and I'm bringing. Mm, let me see. Oh, I'm bringing. How, let's see how many of you guys know about this particular place. I'm bringing a Vuvuzela. Jeez. Okay. Well, I'm going on a cruise. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing a trumpet. A trumpet. Mm. Mm. Teacher Cat, you're not going on the cruise. Oh, of no. course, I'm not going on a cruise. <laughs> of course it's not, little, Teacher Coco. It's a little bit harder today, I'll be honest. Okay, um, here's another one. I'm bringing, I, I'm going on a cruise and I'm bringing bunny chow. I wonder if you're going to figure it out after this. Hmm. I'm seeing somebody say Gota, Gota and Bunny Chow are kind of the same thing. Oh, somebody said they're bringing Acha. They're coming. They're coming on the cruise. Oh. Well, I'm bringing Somebody said they're everything. bringing a Shibobo. I know Shibobo is like a, a dance or like a, 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 a soccer move, but you're definitely coming. You're definitely coming. Huh. Somebody said they're bringing Biltong. Oh, they're going on the cruise. I see where this is going. Do you, do you see it, I teacher? I see Kat? where this and, is going. Yeah, somebody said they're bringing chakalaka. They're going. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. I hope I you guys see where this is McDonald's, going. McDonald's, we're not going. Somebody said boss. They're going. Excellent. Whoever's saying Russian, no. Somebody said pop. Whoever said pop, you're coming. Mm -hmm. Yep. I see where this is going. No, Jerry is like every single curry there is. No, no, my No. <laughs> we can't say curry. We can't say curry. No. Not corn dogs, not KFC, not rice or paloni or milk. No, you guys are not coming. Not juice landile. No. Uh, Mince meat. No. Chilies. No. Bread beans. No. Curry fish. No. You can't say vors. Somebody already said vors. Mr. Kruder says chicken. No. Somebody says beetroot, no. I hope you guys can see what all of these things have in common. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are noticing what all of these things are in common. Or let me let me say it this way. Where can I buy any of these things? Except a shibobo. I can't buy a shibobo. <laughs> Where can I buy any of these things? My only clue is a local of lacquer. Yes. Thank you, teacher Cat. Somebody said they're bringing us Paza. You're going. <laughs> <laughs> You're going. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good this one. is bringing us Paza shop. You're definitely going. <laughs> Unati says it's bringing Bry meat. Bry meat. You're going, Unati. Let's go. Has anybody <laughs> figured it out yet? Jody, it's not local shops. Sally says knickknacks. Sally's going. And Julie says shop right. You're definitely going. Oh, Mujalifa thinks, I think. Mujalifa has figured it out. Mujalifa, what do you think it is? Oh, Poiki, yes, Jiria, you're coming. Ma'am, I think I figured it out, ma'am. And I think Okay, tell us what is it? Like, when you only get these certain things in the Mahayim. Oh, in not, like, not specifically in, in the Mahayim. Like, Mahayim is like rural areas. Not specifically rural areas, because I, I don't specifically find a Vuvuzela in a rural area, though. So think a little bit more about it. Titella, what do you think? Um, um, I think it's things like you can get in South Africa, more like our culture and heritage, like food Yay! and since next week it's heritage month. So Yeah. <laughs> well done. You think that you get it out. Well done. Guys, you can't like yeah. both of them is be South African and Vos and Vuvuzelas and yeah. Bunny Child. And those of you, well done to the law. Like it took us a while to get there, but mm -hmm. but very well done. Excellent stuff. And next month is is Heritage Month. That's why I wanted to do it. Escom. <laughs> and Jerry is like Escom. If you said you're bringing Escom, you would have gotten it. Very well done, guys. Amazing stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. That was, I think that was a nice one. That was, was a very nice one. Yeah. Um, somebody, I think, Jerry, you're the one who said curry. Curry is also famous in India, so we can't exactly say it's a South African thing. That's why I said no. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool, guys. Let's continue. We're going to do a very quick one. We're only going to answer questions one, two, three, and four. Now, what we're going to do is we're putting all of these together. We're going to put them all together. Okay. Okay. You need to tell me, look at this one. We know that this one is an acute triangle because all three of the angles are acute because 90, deg well, 90 degrees. Oh, sorry, it's a right angle triangle. Why am I lying? Sorry. This is a right angle triangle because there's a 90 degree angle, 90 degrees. Ten, we're at the end of the lesson. And because nothing is common, it's also a scalene triangle. So because Jiria and Chloe and Melissa already have their hands up, can I ask you guys to help me with numbers two, three, and four? Oh, no, Jiria, where did you go? Okay, Chloe. Okay, Chloe, let's do number two. Ma'am, number two is a scalene triangle, triangle because, because all sides are not the same. Good. We know that it's scalene, but what about over here? Is it acute, right, or obtuse? <clears throat> And then um, obtuse. Good, it's an obtuse triangle because of this big obtuse angle over here. Very well done. Excellent yeah. stuff. Sorry, I can always trust, I can always trust in you. Excellent stuff. Well done. All right, Melissa, do you want to do the next one for me? Let's do number three. Yes, ma'am. That one is an isosceles. Good, we know that it's an isosceles triangle that has two equal sides and two base angles, but what kind of triangle is it? Is it, is it acute, a right, or an obtuse triangle? Um, um, I think it's an acute angle. Oh, okay, if we said acute, all the angles will have to be acute, but what do we know about this angle over here? What kind of angle is that one? Uh, I, Let me have it's an obtuse. Good, it's an obtuse angle. So what does this tell me about my triangle? That it's? An obtuse triangle. Good, it's an obtuse triangle. Very nicely done, Melissa, keep it up. Okay. Excellent. Um, can I, Mujalifa, I know you know the answer. I just haven't heard Unati's voice the whole day. Okay, can I ask Unati, do you, can I ask you to do this last one with me? Um. <laughs> Hi, Unati. What do we know about Hi, number four? Um, Hello. Um, uh, number four is equilateral triangle. Good. It's an equilateral triangle. And what is it acute, right, or obtuse? It's an acute. Good. It's an acute triangle because all the angles are acute. Okay. Very well done. Very, very well done. 